Ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor to join you here tonight, and uh, we're very grateful for the chance we have to represent Kansans in the United States Senate and to go to work every day to try to make a difference, to try to make certain our state has a bright future, and try to make certain that the freedoms and liberties that our founders created for us, the ones that uh, many in this room and those who can't be with us sacrifice and serve to preserve and protect are around for another generation of Americans. And to make sure that something that we all know what it is, the American dream, is alive and well. Humbled, uh, I appreciate the opportunity I have to serve a difficult election cycle, uh, lots of unknowns and consternation in the country and in the state, uh, and I appreciate the chance Kansas has given me to continue to try to make a difference. Are you surprised what's happening on a national level? Well, I, it is unclear to me what's happening on a national level at this point, uh, and it seems to me that the, the night will go late as we determine who the next president will be. I wonder if we'll know, um, how, how early we will know, uh, and I continue to watch the uh, developments in Senate races across uh, the country. Uh, I chaired the effort to have a Republican Senate two years ago. I care a lot about that. I think it's, it would be good for the country. In fact, regardless of who the president is, I think a Republican majority in the House and Senate would be a beneficial thing. But it looks to me as if the races across the country so far uh, are too close to call.